Dear friends in Christ Jesus, the book of Ecclesiastes present before us time for everything. Oh, it says everything has its time. Chapter 3 verses 1 to 8 and the Holy Catholic Church invites all Christians to have a time for spiritual sanctity or purity or renewal two times in a liturgical year. The first time is during Advent. The Church invites us to practice spiritual abstinence in order to receive baby Jesus in our heart. The second, during the Lent, it is our obligation to give Church's instructions to maintain connected with God who suffered for our sins. Spiritual purity or sanctity or renewal can be observed in several ways according to the instructions by the church such as fasting or abstaining from certain things which we like most or one meal in a day. Almsgiving, prayer, these three things are the most important ones which we as Christians, Catholics, urged to practice. Coming to the Gospel passage of today, Mark chapter 8, verses 14 to 21. The Gospel passage of today ends with the question of Jesus, that is, Do you not yet understand? Dear friends, it poses as a strong question because in spite of all the church instructions, the Lord's instructions from the Holy Bible to be sanctified or purified, we very often knowingly fall away. We fail to follow the teachings of the Lord and the church. Therefore, again Jesus says, Be what you are. Watch out. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. Jesus says this because we know that Pharisees do not practice what they say. They burden rules and laws for the people, but they do not practice. Herod, who promised without thinking, as a result, an innocent man was beheaded. Herod, too, set rules but did not practice. He feared God and the John the baptizer, and he intended not to harm him, but later, we see, he commanded to a girl to behave him. So, the gospel passage of today teaches us that what we execute, we must do. What we promise, that must be accomplished. And when we make a promise, we must be watchful or careful. So, dear friends, the rules and the regulations of the church are good for the growth of our spirituality. Of course, it is not seen and we must follow them strictly and especially if we have promised that during this late we will abstain from certain things, then we must practice. May God bless and strengthen us. Amen.